cool wind of the Holy Ghost just blew past. Whoop. Pancreas, liver, you're going to start to function in a greater capacity. You're going to take your blood test and your, your uh, sugar is going to begin to change. <laughs> this the night, the blood has not lost its power, church. There's still power in the blood if in case the devil didn't know it. We're here to remind him of that tonight. <laughs> Go ahead. It's done in Jesus' name. There's it's done in Jesus' in name. It's done in Jesus' blood. name. Miracles are coming to Orlando, Florida. Sunday, April 3rd at 3 p.m. Join Pastor Dana under the huge gospel tent as she moves in the gifts of the Spirit, praying the prayer of faith, miracles, healings, signs, and wonders. Don't miss this dynamic tent crusade. That's Sunday, April 3rd at 3 p.m. Central Florida Fairgrounds in Orlando, Florida. All are welcome and all seats are free. I wanted to take a moment to bring you a word from the scripture today. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And as you hear this word today that God has placed in my spirit for those of you who are watching, God began to speak into my spirit for the past several weeks, Psalm 91, about he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So many of us today are under a shadow. We're under that fear that darkness that has been in this world trying to block and stop that light of the Lord shining from within each and every one of us. But do you know that in the midst of darkness, God can bring you into his marvelous light and you can see the total transformation take place in your mind, body, soul, and spirit. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. There are those of you today and the enemy has come in just like a giant trying to bring fear against you, trying to let you think that God does not know the things that you have need of. God said, what things? Soever you desire, when you pray, believe, and you shall receive them. Do you know that your faith can cancel the fear that is hovering over your home today? Psalm 91 tells us and speaks because in the ninth verse, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. You see, God's word promises you, Psalm 91 and 9, get your pens, papers, write this down today. I want you to do Bible study at home because it tells you that when you make God your refuge, your strength, that's what he wants to be. He wants to be your father. He wants to provide for you and not only provide for you and strengthen you, but to let you know today, there shall no evil befall you and there shall no plague come nigh your dwelling. Poverty is a plague. Sickness is a plague. But you have the power today in the name of Jesus to rebuke, bind, and to loose a miracle. And just like David, that little shepherd, you can slay that giant that is trying to bring that shadow of fear to your front door today. I believe there are those of you today, this giant has been standing before you long enough and this is your day to win the victory, to see miracles happen and transformation come. Call the number at the bottom of your screen. And when you do, I'll be sure to send to you your personal point of contact, your anointed stone of David to remind you that all it takes is one smooth stone to slay that giant. Now come go with me into our service. I got to obey God because the Lord keeps speaking to me. There are three people here tonight that I have to minister to. The Lord said that your home, he said that's been either already in the foreclosure process or about to be foreclosed on, God is going to give you a financial miracle tonight. Now, I don't know who you are, and I'm not here to embarrass you, 
but I'm here to embarrass the devil who's trying to destroy you and trying to come against you. And the Bible said that one will put a thousand to flight and two will put ten thousand to flight. Is that not true? Are you all ready tonight to put ten thousand demonic forces to flight in this room tonight? Are you all ready tonight to take back what the devil's trying to steal from you or already stole from you? Are you one? Come, stand with me tonight. Sometimes the storm begins to set in and you'll begin to be afraid. I'm here to tell every one of you, all you got to do is call on his name. Say, Jesus, oh, Jesus. You see, well, there's power in his name, power in his name. has not lost its power. Father, everyone say, right now. Right now. now I want you to mean it when you say it. Are you ready? Say, Father. Father. Right now. 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 Come on. Right now. <laughs> Wait. Now, you see, sometimes you got to holler it. And you know why? Because we got to be loud and proud and sound about what God can do. And I ain't afraid of no devil. In fact, he needs to be afraid of each and every one of you. Because when you begin to praise God and call upon his name, just like a little baby calling on their mommy or their daddy, he's our heavenly father. He defends us. And sometimes you just got to holler. Come on. You just got to be like, Jesus. Come on. What happened to Bartimaeus? He was blind, sitting on the wayside, sitting there in beggar clothes, and everyone, oh, there he is, blind Bartimaeus. But one day he got tired of being sick and tired and tired of being blind, didn't he? Some of you all have been blind long enough. You got to throw off your coat. That's what he did. He threw off that beggar's coat, and he threw off the blindness. Honey, he couldn't see Jesus, but he heard him. Come on. He couldn't see in the natural, but he felt it in the Holy Ghost. And he began to stumble, fumble, holler, scream, and yell. He said, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. And when he began to cry out, something happened in the supernatural. Because Jesus said, what do you want? What do you need? And that's the same Holy Spirit that's here tonight. God said it, not me. Come on. What do you want? What do you need, Bartimaeus? He said, Lord, that I might receive my sight. You see, sometimes God knows that you're already blind, but he's asking you a question tonight so that you will make up your mind that you ain't leaving here without your miracle. Come on, Tampa. Get your miracle. I want you to take this packet with you and anoint all the paperwork that the bank tries to put before you. Because there was a woman in, in West Palm, Florida that I gave anointing oil to and I began to prophesy to her. And I said, that, that spirit that's come to try to rob your home, I said, I see you getting back in the home and the bank is gonna call you before I leave town. That was on a Sunday. And during that week, she said, I gave her, I said, within one week's time, you're getting back in your house. Well, you know what ended up happening? She said about three days after I prayed for her, the bank called her, said, we want to help you. I don't know too many banks that want to help you. Not only do we want to help you, but we want to make sure that you remain in the house. Wherever you've been, go back to the house because we're going to work with you on your mortgage and lower the payment so that you and your family can be there. Uh, honey, it happened. And if it happened for her, it's going to happen for you too. I rebuke this devourer in the mighty name of Jesus. Cool wind of the Holy Ghost just blew past. Whoop.
pancreas, liver, you're going to start to function in a greater capacity. You're going to take your blood test and your, your uh, sugar is going to begin to change. <laughs> this the night, the blood has not lost its power, church. There's still power in the blood if in case the devil didn't know it. We're here to remind him of that tonight. <laughs> Go ahead. It's done in Jesus' name. It's done in Jesus' name. It's done in Jesus' name. Well, right where you are today, I just feel to ask for the favor of the Lord to minister to you. Now, Father, we just thank you and we praise you for this time of fellowship. And we ask for the joy of the Lord to be the strength to those today who are in need of their miracle. Lord, spiritually today, begin to touch lives. Physically today, begin to transform their bodies. And financially, Lord, do that which only you can do. Open up the windows of heaven, God, and begin to pour out your people a blessing that they won't have room enough to receive. Amen and amen. Now, I love you in the Lord, and I look forward to hearing just from you so that you and I can partner together in prayer. And I want to remind you today, those of you at home, your free anointed stone of David, this point of contact to remind you that you can hold this in your hand, claim the victory, and slay your giant. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Hey, this is Pastor Dana, and I want you to come and be a part of this crusade. I'm coming to your city, your town, because this is your time for your turnaround. God has a miracle waiting just for you, and I want you to come join me and be a part of what God is doing in these meetings. If you or someone you know needs a miracle, you won't want to miss this crusade.